What up players? Uh, welcome to your 23rd tutorial. Hopefully we'll be able to finish our wallpaper app today. Again, thanks for subscribing and checking out the form and give me those comments, thumbs up, loving all that. Still, it makes my day pretty much. So uh, we're going to open up that uh, tutorial 3. Well, actually, I'm just going to show you what the end result is. I'm just going to pick one of these wallpapers that we have set up here and I'll just pick the this baking one and I'm gonna hit set wallpaper and then once we go to our home page or actual phone it's gonna be set up as our wallpaper and uh, yeah but anyways that's what it's gonna do it's basically a real simple way to set it up you know you can get technical and it'll be a lot better but uh, we're just gonna set up the easy way what we're gonna need first is an int and again this is in our tutorial 3 so we're gonna make a new int and this will come You'll understand why we need this later, but we're just going to call it two phone. Basically, we're going to have to create a bitmap, and we're going to convert uh, integer, which would be like a resource, into a bitmap. So we need that end to kind of show. It'll make sense later. Anyways, we also want to set up our button that we have. So let's do that real quick. We're going to say uh, set wall. Again, import. This is and review for you guys and we're going to say find view by ID and it was a button set wall set wallpaper okay and then we also want to use this on click listener so we're just going to copy this and we're going to set up our new button to also listen to that listener pretty much or that click listener whatever it's like four in the morning I'm tired I'm sorry but uh, now that will be passed into again this switch case me method or whatever switch case and uh, we need to set up our case as r dot ID dot our brain is not functioning right now button set wall and what, what do we want this uh, button ID set wall to do? Well, this is where it gets a little tricky. Like I said, the, to set the wallpaper on the phone, it needs a bitmap. We don't have bitmaps. We just remember these are integers, right? Or an yeah, int. So we need to convert that int into a bitmap. So first we're going to set up a bitmap variable. And we're just going to call it whatever. We're just going to call it, yeah, actually, whatever. That works. Whatever. And uh, we got to import the bitmap, and basically now to do the conversion from an integer to a bitmap, we need to use the bitmap factory. Uh, this will be able to, to convert a lot of different resources like streams and all the other good stuff. Actually, we are converting a stream, but you don't really need to know that. And then what we need to do is decode uh, decode stream because, like I said, we're decoding a, or we're doing a stream pretty much. And we also have to get the resources from that integer that we want. So we're going to use a method called get resource resources. Um, we also got to import this bitmap factory, and we're also going to say um, what was it? Open yeah, it's right here for me. That's good. So it's called open raw resource. And as you see, this takes an integer. So that's why we created that new variable called two phone. And now what we need to do is we need to set up our bitmap to um to do something. So we're gonna use a try because you know it doesn't always work and we need like it to catch exceptions. So we need to do a try, and it's called get application. And I'm sorry, this I'm not explaining a lot of this. I apologize, but um, it would take forever for me to explain each one of these. And they kind of kind of explain what they do themselves. And if you hover over them, there gives a little description of what they do. But I'm just kind of showing you how to set the wallpaper up. And we're actually going to say get application context, and then we're going to say 
set wallpaper because that's the command we need to set the wallpaper of our actual you know wallpaper of the phone and this is going to take this bitmap that we set up because like I said earlier we need a bitmap shows us right here and that's why we had to convert our integer into a bitmap so whatever and then we also need to get our catch statement and that's probably what this area is right here well it says finally but we're going to use a catch because that's basically what we want and <clears throat> It's going to take exception E. That's the variable we set up for a catch. We also have to import this. I must have spelled it wrong. Yeah, I forgot an E. Okay, so it's IO exception and it take it's E. So we're setting up that exception. And we're just going to say E print stack trace. Again, this is just something if uh, you know our program's not running the way it's supposed to, it's going to catch those exceptions and basically set it to null, so it won't actually do anything. Um, but there we go. That's pretty much all we need. But right now, this integer is not doing anything because we didn't assign it to anything. So now we need to assign it to the integer that we want it to be. So basically, if you remember. Right when we had our program set up, we had our display set as that first picture. Um, trying to find it up here. Well, I'm not, yeah, uh, in the XML, we set it as our first picture. But we also want to set up our in new integer to phone to equal just r.id. Oops, not id, I'm sorry, drawable dot and my first one was abstract so that's what it's going to set up so that's what the the integer is going to reference as of right now basically now throughout this whole thing every time we select our image view in that switch case we also want to change this variable so right now it's going to be the same but down here we want to change it to uh, back apple or whatever you labeled this uh, this drawable right here and we also got to change this to bacon I'm sorry guys I'm so tired right now but uh, if you if you have any questions or concerns you know either hit me up on the form or just uh, leave a comment because I'll try to respond to either of them if you need some more explanation of this because I can tell myself that this is a pretty crappy lesson but you guys are gonna have to deal with it for now so basically now we have everything set up and everything should be working should should be fine but the only other problem is is we can't have the full access to the phone and setting the backgrounds we want because you know we could create any application and set our corn boys production background on their phone for them and they just get pissed so we're gonna have to ask for permission and this is the first time we're using this I kinda mentioned it earlier but that will be in the Android XML if you have to resource like the internet or you wanna set for example set the wallpaper you're gonna have to ask for a permission so just scroll all the way down to the bottom and I have some extra stuff that you guys won't have because I was thinking about putting this on the marketplace and I had AdSense whatever or AdMob and uh, this is where you're going to put your permission right at uh, right above wow I can't speak worth anything right now right above the closing argument of the manifest so right above that we're going to say uses permission and Android name equals and this is how we set up all of our permissions except obviously it's going to be a little bit different for each function that you want a permission for and this one is android.permission.set wallpaper
and then we just have to close it off and I believe we should be good to go I'm just gonna check it out because I want to doubt it if I messed up somehow because said four in the morning but uh, yeah hopefully this should work thanks again for subscribing and watching and all that positive comments and stuff I hope this tutorial made at least some sense and you kind of picked up on it a little bit I know that bitmap thing was probably a little bit confusing but you'll get it you'll get it I believe in you I know you will so I'm just gonna hit tutorial one I had it set up as the pig background so I'm just gonna try something else to make sure it works I heart cheese and I set it and just go back to the home page there it is BAM alright thanks again for watching guys hope you have a great rest of your day night whatever it is brunch lunch, dinner. Um, but uh, thanks again for watching. See you guys later.